actually a very interesting question because the whole space is changing. Uh, people today want instantaneous responses and, uh, and uh, enterprises that react in real time to what customer needs are. <clears throat> Part of the reason for this is the, uh, the, the, the boundaries between digital and real world are collapsing. So we need systems that learn, <clears throat> that are able to understand customer interactions and react in real time. So how do we do that? I mean, how do we get the intelligence? And how are we able to uh, get enterprises to understand the context of an interaction and then uh, you know, help the customer achieve whatever goals that they have? So systems are being built that actually relook at the foundation of data. They're, they're talking about systems that bring all the data together, but that's not enough. There, there, there are layers that are required that help you understand the data and can get signals and, and you know, take the signals, understand the signals and interpret them in context to be able to uh, to be able to connect with the customer right because that window at a uh, window that is available to to you to connect with the customer is very limited it is just at that point of interaction and uh, we need extensive amount of learning and ai to help with this it is it is getting the data together connecting it together using ai to understand the connection between the data and being able to interpret signals and respond in, respond in real time. So systems are being built that are capable of doing, doing this and systems are being built at scale. Okay. One of the misconceptions, and we, we, we deal with this quite a bit, uh, where we have a data scientist uh, who looks at uh, you know, data in a, way, in, a, uh, in a big data and then tries to make sense of it. Right? And they do a good job with that. But realize that for an enterprise, there are many, many data scientists who now need to actually interpret this data and then actually make sense of it. And what happens is people repeat what they are doing over and over again. So, so the data systems itself need to become intelligent where this learning is encapsulated and you don't repeat uh, things over and over again. And you can scale uh, both your data solutions and your AI AI solutions. Right? Eventually, where this is leading to and where Infosys is going with this is to create what we call an Infosys digital brain. The idea of the digital brain is to actually bring data and intelligence together and make the intelligence ambient uh, so that just as we can react to, uh, to inputs in real time, the enterprises can do the same. So the question is, uh, how is Infosys helping the customers navigate their next in terms of data and AI? So I think it's an exciting question. Um, so in my opinion, every single organization has already made a grand entry into the space of AI. So there are, there are like innumerable possibilities for every vertical in terms of AI. But what is important to understand is that every single use case of AI is actually powered by data in the backend. So how nimble your data platform is, how marinated your data is, is really important to, uh, to the whole AI outcome for any industry. So we have seen over the past couple of years, uh, or even three or four years now, uh, how machine learning uh, has evolved. Uh, the same, same is applicable to AI as well. There is AI happening in bits and, bits and pieces, in pockets. Uh, there are insights being generated. There are algorithms newer and newer being applied. But are we really scaling AI? So are we ready for an enterprise level AI? Uh, is it scalable? So that is important to understand that you know, for any AI use case or, um, or implementation to scale, it is necessary to have the data very, very friendly for that, for that AI use case development. So what is important is to have the data discoverable, the data uh, profiled, um, and there, there, there need to be different perspectives of the same data for different use cases. So the same data may be uh, viewed differently for different use cases. Uh, so every data scientist would probably need uh, you know, different, different data sets for different AI use cases, but, uh, but what uh, is very important to understand is 
how is that data projected to him how is he discovering the data how easy is it for them to find the data that they need so in my opinion making the data friendlier and making it ai ready is very important and the infosys tools and techniques will uh, will be really useful in helping the customers get there in terms of getting their data landscape uh, to be ai friendly and ai ready